Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss Bohr theory of hydrogen atom. So in 1930, Niel Bohr proposed a new atomic model to explain the stability of the atom. He put following three postulates. So postulate first. In postulate first, he gave the information that an atom consists of small, heavy, massive part and that is the central part called nucleus in which whole mass of the atom and positive charges are concentrated. So electron revolve, electron revolve around the orbit that is the around the orbit allowed circular orbit. The centripetal force when the electron is revolving around the orbit, so the centripetal force required to rotation is provided by the electrostatic force or Coulombic force. So centripetal force is required for rotation is provided by Coulomb force of attraction among the unlike charges that is the nucleus and electron. So here what will happen here this is the uh, centripetal force and this is the electrostatic force are balanced to each other. So centripetal force that is equal to mv square upon r here n, m is the mass of electron v is the instantaneous velocity of the electron and r is the distance between nucleus and electron. So this is the electrostatic force or Coulomb force that is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 z e is the charge on nucleus and e is the charge on electron. So that is z e r square. So here there is the unlike charge there is the attraction that's why here is the positive sign. So 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 we can write z e square divided by r square. So that centripetal force and electrostatic force are balanced to each other. So mv square r is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 z e square upon r square. That is, this is the first equation. So this is the first postulate of the Bohr theory. So second postulate. The second postulate the electron revolve only in certain allowed that is the specific non rotating orbital which is called as stationary orbit. So here what will happen the electron are revolving non rotating orbital. So we can say that when the electron is revolving certain specific orbit at that time it do not emit the energy. So that non rotating orbit means there is no loss of energy when the electron revolves with this orbits. So Bohr showed that only those circular orbit for electron are allowed or permitted that is the non-radiating non for which the angular momentum for which the angular momentum that is the angular momentum of moving electron is an integral multiple of n times integral multiple of h upon 2 pi that is the n h upon 2 pi. So electron suppose the particle is moving linearly so it possesses the linear momentum that linear momentum is m into z. So here the electron is revolving around the orbit that's why it possesses the angular momentum of electron is mv r. Here is the r is the additional part that is the distance between nucleus to electron. So mv r is equal to n times h upon 2 pi. So this is the non radiating orbit that is the integral multiple of h upon 2 pi that is the this is the permitted non reddening orbit. So n is the principal quantum number for first orbit n is equal to 1 for second 2 and so on. So in postulate third in postulate third give information that how the energy is emitted. So when the electron is revolving around the orbit at that time it do not emitting the energy but when the electron jump from one orbit to another orbit they have different energy. So when an electron jump from orbit of higher energy to or another orbit of lower energy then the quantum of energy is radiated. Quantum of energy is radiated means fixed energy is radiated or emitted in the form of radiation. So frequency of emitted frequency of emitted photon is proportional to the difference between two energy states of orbit. So here what will happen suppose the electron is jumping from E3 to E1. So E3 to E1. So at that time the photon is emitted. So emitted energy is there. If the electron is jumping from E2 to E1. So E2 to E1 also there is the emission of energy. But when 
the electron is jumping from lower energy to higher energy so for that purpose the atom absorb the energy and due to the absorption that electron gain the energy and they will moving from lower energy to higher energy so e2 to e3 or lower to higher any so that is called as the absorption energy so these are the three postulate of the bore thank you for watching this video till to end thank you